The Sony A7R6 could be the unexpected game changer we've been hoping for, with rumors swirling about an impressive 80 megapixel full frame sensor. While official details are still pending, this camera might redefine high resolution photography for professionals and enthusiasts alike. Join us as we delve into the leaks and ask Is the Sony A7R6 the full frame king of 2025? Let's take a moment to breathe that in. Eighty megapixels. That's not just a jump from the current sixty-one megapixel sensor found in the A7R5. It's a seismic leap. According to a report, Sony is gearing up for what might be the most significant megapixel bump in recent full-frame history. Their sources indicate that the A7R6 will likely debut in late 2025, possibly November, continuing Sony's tradition of evolving its R series every few years but this time with the intent to reclaim the resolution throne with brute force and finesse. Interestingly, reports point out that Sony's semiconductor division already possesses the means to produce a 90-megapixel full-frame sensor, thanks to architectural insights drawn from Fujifilm's outstanding 40-megapixel APS-C sensor. While scan speed could become a limitation at such high resolutions, it's far less of a concern for a stills-focused shooter. Of course, megapixels alone don't make a masterpiece. It's what supports them that truly unlocks their potential, and rumor has it the A7R6 will be powered by Sony's dual Bions XR processors, alongside dual AI processing units. That's a serious brain working behind the sensor, enabling lightning-fast readouts, improved autofocus intelligence, and fluid image processing, even with those gigantic file sizes. And speaking of autofocus, Expect the next evolution of Sony's already celebrated tracking system. The AI-based real-time tracking AF is said to get a serious boost, with smarter detection algorithms and even better accuracy in tricky lighting conditions or with erratic subjects. Add to that a massively improved in-body image stabilization system, rumored to offer up to 8.5 stops of shake compensation and you have a camera that's designed not only for tripods, but also for handheld, real-world creativity. The video specs, too, are anything but secondary. Sony knows its users don't like to compromise, and the A7R6 is shaping up to be a legitimate hybrid tool for high-end shooters. We're talking 8K at 30fps, with the possibility of pushing to 8K at 60fps and 4K at 120p for cinematic slow-motion work. For those diving into color grading and high-end post-production workflows, 16-bit raw video output, S-Log3, and S-Cinetone are expected to be onboard, features typically reserved for cinema-level cameras. And if you think all this power might leave usability as an afterthought, think again. Early whispers suggest a premium 9.44 million dot electronic viewfinder operating at 120 Hz for fluid, real-time feedback, and a new 3.2-inch 4-axis variangle touchscreen LCD that makes shooting from awkward angles easier than ever. Naturally, a camera of this caliber needs high-performance storage options. The A7R6 is expected to retain dual card slots, supporting both CFX Press Type A and SD UHS-2 cards, providing flexibility, speed, and much-needed backup. And for those concerned with burst rates despite the massive files, you'll reportedly get up to 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter and 15 frames per second using the electronic shutter, a solid middle ground that favors reliability without compromising too much on speed. Sony's A7R6 may represent a revolutionary shift in photography. With an emphasis on exceptional resolution for perfectionists and impressive video capabilities, it aims to rival cinema cameras. Unlike typical releases, the A7R6 is designed to set new trends instead of following them. Thanks for watching. What do you think of the rumored specs? Will you upgrade from the A7R5? Share your thoughts below and subscribe.